So here is the famous Scottish grace note tutorial that I've been talking about in all of the other lessons, which I hope you've been watching. Scottish grace notes, uh, like grace notes actually in any tradition, really help make the tune. Uh, if you don't put in the things that uh, kind of flavor or cause the accent of the tune, then, you know, you could just be playing. It doesn't necessarily sound like music. It just sounds like notes. So uh, these are some things I'm going to show you that in the Scottish fiddle tradition make a tune sound Scottish. <laughs> uh, and a lot of these grace notes have been influenced by bagpipes from Scotland or by the singing traditions of Scotland. And, um, and then others are very fiddle-centric. So um, I think maybe first of all we should just learn the flick. That's what I call it. Um, it's the grace note that does come from the bagpipe tradition that sounds like this. This, uh, this grace note is so totally Scottish. Um, I grew up playing Texas style fiddle and I never played a grace note like this in Texas fiddle music. So um, what we're doing is we're actually taking, in this instance we're playing the open A, that's the note we're embellishing. I'm going to take my third finger and I will just hit the surface of the A string. Kind of like you're playing a harmonic. But you don't actually have the sound of a harmonic because you hit the string so fast. Sometimes I explain it as uh, pretending that this string right here is like 5,000 degrees and you're bringing your finger down, just place your finger on top of it and as soon as your finger feels it, it whips back like a reflex. That's the kind of vibe that we're going for with this. Uh, and you could think about, um, in the piping tradition, there's this one continuous blast of air that's happening. Maybe you could think about that as being your bow. And if you want to play three notes, you're not going to just move that blast of air back and forth three times like we would with a bow. You'll, you can use the flick. So that created three distinct notes separating them with the flick. Um, you can do it on all of the fingers. I like to use my third finger the whole time until I get to my third finger when I use my fourth. Some people use their fourth finger for the flick, even when they're playing an open string. I can't do that because I'm not very good at that. <laughs> um, or you could use your second finger. For me, the third finger can go down to the string and get back up the fastest, so that's why I use that one. That is the flick.